All so right. I've been planing this uh, old wood that was on my deck down. I still don't know what type of wood it is, but it it looks really nice. So I am definitely going to do something with it. These rotted areas are going to get cut out. Uh, I do still have a rather large piece here that's still um, pretty covered with paint. I've run it through a couple passes, but not enough to really get it off of there. Uh, and I'll have to clean up the edges on the table saw. Uh, we'll probably cut all of these holes out. There's rot in this too. Um, any of you guys have any idea what kind of wood this is? Let me know. Now it's time for the hard part. We gotta break this thing right. down. Pallet is completely broken down, and this is what we have left. A big stack of nails to go in the trash. Um, quite a bit of this oak. I got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces. And I have two full length of this thicker oak here. And this one I had to cut in half. This had a couple weird nails that were broken off inside. I didn't want to take the time to try to fish them out, so I just cut the bad piece out of it. All right, we are back. It's the next day. Um, just set the table saw up real quick. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these ones down to get these screw holes out of them in this wall. Nice usable piece of wood. Not bad for some old decking. Real quick, uh, here's what I have. I have um, these five pieces of this dark wood. I don't know what kind it is. It it looks like walnut, but nobody would put walnut on a deck and then paint over it. At least not that I can. I wouldn't. I guess somebody might, but. Uh, and then I have all this, which is a mixture of white and red oak from a pallet. All right, time to glue these together. I'm just gluing the worst faces on them together. Uh, the ones with the most tear out, snipe things like that. Um, I'm going to cut them anyways, but where they're glued together, no one's ever going to see. So why not? I use a very large amount of wood glue. I will be the first to admit I use way more than needed. Okay, I am back. Uh, these are all glued up now. Just two pieces of that oak laminated together. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run them through the planer. I probably won't record that because nobody wants to see a ton of stuff being planed. Now I need to put a straight edge on them. Uh, I just put a little double-sided tape on a level and then I'll run it through my table saw um, for a pass just on one side of each one and then I flip it around and do the other side just off the fence. Nice straight edge, should work pretty well. And I just gotta do that to the rest of them now. All right, this is a piece of MDF, uh, also scrap wood. It was on an old bed that I tore apart a couple years ago when I built my king size bed. Uh, this is 20 by 59, so I do need to cut a few inches off of it to get to 48. Um, the reason I'm gonna use it is actually this black bottom. All right, so I've got that clamped on there. Um, it's just a level with two clamps. And this is a really accurate way to make a perfectly measured cut with a uh, circular saw. Done. So I got a lot done while this wasn't running. I had to let it charge up a little. Um, but here's what I'm doing. Uh, I built basically a frame around it. I'm cutting some miters right now. So I'm just boxing it in basically. Uh, I cut these all to one and a half inches, uh, then I can lay out my boards inside of it after I get this glued up to it. Got the box all clamped up. Um, I kind of cheat and use these uh, miter clamps. These are phenomenal. If you don't have a couple sets of these, do yourself a favor and just pick some up. The, it just makes lining it up so much easier. 
I just glued the um, <clears throat> three pieces of uh, oak together. I've uh, got them in clamps right now. Um, I just put a towel underneath to kind of keep it from dripping all over the workbench. But this will pretty much be the center of the coffee table. We're back and it is completely out of clamps. I just set it on the uh, piece of wood I'm using. The fit isn't bad. It's not great. There's a little play in it. But once I get everything else in there and glued down solid, it should should hold pretty well. And this is just to thicken it. So I got all my pieces cut and roughly fit into place. Nothing's glued down yet or anything. So I'm not painting this on the entire thing. I'm actually just going to run it like this because there's just so much surface here that I don't think it will be any type of issue. And I'm gonna run some here. And we're gonna go right down, oops, cut on the top, right down the side and right across and right across and slide that back into place Uh, just a quick update. So some of the gaps in this were a little bigger than I wanted to just do wood glue and sawdust. So I had some real thin cutoff strips that I just uh, sanded to kind of fit and super glued down in. And then once that dries, I can kind of flatten that out and then go around with wood glue and sawdust and fill the smaller crack. All right. So I just went over that both directions, long grain and across. Um, that was the only way I could actually get it smooth enough where the belt sander would take it out. Uh, I don't think that bit's very good. It is an Amazon cheapie. Um, biggest piece of advice I can give doing this is wear a dust mask because I did not and I regret it. Alright, that is it for today. Went around and just filled any little gaps uh, with some wood glue and sawdust uh, before I do the final sand on them. Just wanted to make sure all the little holes were filled. There were a couple on the side there too. So quick update, uh, I decided to buy table legs for this. Uh, I was just going to build some out of this scrap wood you see here um, to keep this thing a full scrap project, but I was at the big box store today. I found these for about seven right. bucks each. Sanded off all that glue. It's a little more gray than I would like in the few areas that it's on there, but it's not bad. <laughs> Taped up, just a can of black spray paint. I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly hit this here just to cover up the areas I sanded. And I did tape over the uh, screw holes for the legs. All right, that is painted, it's just a gloss black. Uh, it does need to dry out before I can pull the Let's tape see how off. Much overspray we got, or any bleed through. Doesn't really look too bad. It's 
still a little tacky. I always peel tape when it's a little tacky so it doesn't there pull any go. off. When you peel tape, always pull away, not straight up. Okay, that's my new bottom. Without going broke. Get the brands you want, the prices you want, whatever you want. Always afford to be you to the max. Just putting a little poly around the edges. Actually, this wood uh, looks really nice with a little semi-gloss on it. All right, so just went around and tipped the edges a little bit. I don't know how well you can really see that. All right, that's the last coat. Then it's just time to polish it once this dries up. All scrap wood on the top. The only thing I bought was the legs and the mounts. 